Hey everyone! So today I really struggled with what my video was going to be because I had a few things that I wanted to talk about and I've been really bad at making videos and so I'm really really trying and um, so I was like I need to make a video I just don't know what I want it to be on so I thought of a few different things and I had a few things out um, that were like cosmetic -y stuff but I decided to do this one instead I was gonna wait until next week but I'm gonna start it now and then just keep it going from week to week and um, it has to do with like eating healthy eating fitness weight loss um, I've talked about it before in regards to how I haven't lost all the weight since I had my baby and it's really frustrating but also that I've never really been a very good cook I've never been really good at meal planning um, incorporating healthy vegetables into everyday meals I was raised like having cereal in the morning and steak and potatoes at night and there wasn't you know a lot of the meals weren't cooked in a healthy way now I don't really like diets like I don't care for South Beach or um what are those other ones there's one that like you're supposed to restrict all the carbs I don't know if that was South Beach or if it was something else but there was that fat and what happens when you restrict one certain food group so you restrict carbs and so you're high protein no carbs and you lose a lot of water weight but when you start incorporating these foods back into your life you end up gaining the weight back and you don't stick to it for a long time it's like this you know you do it for a little while you drop a ton of weight but then what about the rest of your life over the last five years I have been slowly trying to change now it has been real slow because obviously I haven't done a very good job um, but as far as like natural products and natural eating it started when I started thinking about cosmetics and um, companies that pre you know test on animals which I don't believe in and so I'm, I as much as I can I buy products that are um, cruelty free and then that kind of segued into well what about the the animals that I'm eating so if I'm eating chicken and, and beef and what's going on with them you know if these animals are being tortured so that I can wear makeup what about the animals about the food you know with the food we're eating so then we switched to just wanting to have um, cruelty free meat from farms that have um, safe and moral practices with their animals and also organic because the meat that we have that it has the hormones put into it, the antibiotics put into it, it's not healthy for our bodies. We are becoming more and more resistant to antibiotics because we're consuming antibiotics whenever we eat these meats and hormones. Girls are starting periods very, very young because of the hormones that they're drinking in milk and they're eating in the meat. So when I, when we had our daughter, I, was really picky about what I give her and it's organic and she doesn't eat meat and this last year I've really stopped eating meat occasionally I would have some meat and when I would eat it I would make sure that it came from a good place and just my craving for meat d diminished when I would eat meat I would feel sick and um, it just you know sparks this this change and I started watching a lot of documentaries so like Fast Food Nation, Food Inc, Fat Sick and Nearly Dead, Forks Over Knives um, and one we're watching right now that we haven't finished yet because we're watching it in segments because it's really really hard to watch is called Earthlings and it's free online if you go to earthlings.com I recommend you watch it and it's not an easy watch but I feel like being ignorant is not an excuse for the way that we live and we really need to start paying attention to our surroundings and these animals have feelings and there's no reason why animals need to be tortured and abused from like being on a field to our plate what they go through for that to happen is unacceptable and so I'm not saying that oh you have to go and not eat meat but at least try to support people who are doing it the right way these these huge farms that are run by big companies they're not doing it right and they don't care about our animals and quite frankly the people in the videos who treat these animals this way I just don't understand how they're able to go and do their job every day and 
I would just, I would cry. There's no way that I could do it. So anyways, all that said, um, this is called the Engine 2 Diet. And I don't like that it says diet, like, because there's that negative connotation with diet. But um, Rip Esselstyn is the son of Dr. Esselstyn, who was the main speaker in the documentary Forks Over Knives. And I watched that documentary and was blown away. My husband watched it with me, and he is a carnivore. And people that, like, know that I'm not eating meat, really, they just give me the craziest look because I love meat. I've always loved meat, especially bacon. But now it is different, and I don't crave it, and it's it kind of makes me sick. And so I never thought that I would be here. So you're probably thinking, no way. Uh-uh, I love my meat. Well, my husband's still the same way. He will suck on a rib bone for days. Um, he watched this and was just, was stunned. Um, and when we watched Fat, Sick, and Nearly Dead, that was also a very big, like, eye-opener. So anyways, this Rip, he was a triathlete, very, very active, um, was a professional athlete for ten, over 10 years. He has run alongside Lance Armstrong, um, very prominent. And then when that career was over, he became a firefighter. And through like figuring out, like having a little contest of who has a better cholesterol, they figured out, they realized one of their firemen was really sick. And he, this is how he ate at home. And so he incorporated this at the food station and they recorded like the numbers and so this isn't just about losing weight I mean it's about the numbers in your body you can be really skinny but if you have really bad cholesterol you're in trouble and um, so this book goes through it's in the back it does have recipes but it goes through um, like his story but also like myths about foods because a lot of people think oh you don't get enough calcium you don't get enough protein and that's absolutely false in fact People, like meat eaters are over consuming protein and um, calcium you think you need to get it from dairy but it's being the calcium that you have in your body is being leached out of your bones by the other foods that we're eating so you're just kind of like counteracting any good benefits that you're doing but he it talks about why animal protein is bad for you and I mean, it goes into cholesterol and cancer and heart disease. And um, Dr. Esselstyn's study is is really worth doing some research on. Um, he he has found by, by doing a plant based diet has been able to reverse the effects of heart disease. And heart disease is running rampant in our nation right now. And we're doing it to ourselves. There are children, like there are more children now that are obese than ever. And why are children obese? Removing all of these things from the diet isn't going to be a snap decision for everybody. And I can't say that I'm never going to like have a yummy delicious ice cream ever again. That's not the point. But if I can commit to 28 days of trying this out, because there's... Like it comes, you can go on to the Engine 2 Diet um, website and you can print out, like here this says week um, three here, and it gives you all of the ingredients that you need. And then there's a weekly planner. So and I made some marks on here, but it tells you like breakfast, lunch, dinner, and dessert. Um, yeah, there is dessert on here. You just make it with healthy things. I haven't done the desserts every single day. Um... Like one of them was making like brownies, and but the brownies lasted over a week, so I didn't take on more and like do a new dessert every single night like it has here because I just didn't need to. I made oatmeal raisin cookies the other day. I don't need to like make another new dessert, but I guess you could always just freeze those and save them for a later time or share them with your friends. Um, and at first, the first week I was stressing out because I was like, well, I'm not going to like this and I'm not going to like this. So I was trying to go into the recipe parts of the book and like cross this out and change the grocery list. And I was like, you know what? I'm not going to stress myself out. I'm going to do it like it says. And if I don't like it, I don't like it. And I know because I don't like mushrooms normally. Well, I've had mushrooms a few times and it hasn't been that bad um, in those meals. But I was like, I can just try it. It's a 28 day thing. 
it's not going to kill me. Um, but in it, I'm learning, like I am learning how to cook. I'm also learning how to really get those vegetables in. So not everyone in the world is going to stop eating meat. It's just not going to happen. But if we can get those vegetables in, get those fruits in, get those whole grains in, and I haven't been hungry. And that's another thing. People think you need to have meat at every meal in order to feel full, and you don't. And the foods that, the meals that we have had have um, really, like, what, what did we have last night? We had, this is the wrong, this is week one. So last night we had um, tofu over a bed of spinach with mushrooms and green beans. And it was, I couldn't finish the whole thing. One of my favorite meals that we had was the meatless meatloaf. I thought that was so good. Another one is um, black beans and rice extravaganza. That was really good and full of vegetables. So it's worth trying. Oh, here's week two. So this is week two right here. So like today, oh today I didn't like the lunch. I'll be completely honest. It was an open face sandwich with cannellini dip. I didn't have cannellini beans so I made a black bean dip but I didn't like it. Um, but yeah, so anyways, you can have pancakes. It's just using different things, substituting different things, and they are really good. I love the breakfast. The breakfast has been really, really delicious. So anyway, that's kind of what I'm doing, and I'm, I'm noticing that I'm starting to feel better. My husband has really noticed that he feels a lot more energized, and we'll just see where this 28 days takes us, and... But I do know that this, even if I'm not perfect after those 28 days, this is a lifestyle that I want to commit to for health reasons because my parents have health problems and I don't want to have those health problems. I don't want to be sick. I don't want to be on medications. Um, I don't want to be tied down to those and be restricted because of my health. And I really want my daughter to be healthy and I want to set her up for success. You know, I'm not going to be able to monitor what she eats all of her life, but what I can do is he is equip her with the knowledge and show her that you can cook certain ways, and then she can make that choice for herself. I never really learned that way. I just ate what I ate, and it wasn't the healthiest things, and, you know, and now I'm an adult trying to learn and trying to learn how to cook in different cooking methods and all that stuff. So... That is that. This was like a really big long tangent and oh and I did have a cheat last week so I'm definitely not perfect. I haven't had coffee but last week my husband and I got a chance to go on a quick date and we went to see a movie and we rarely get to go see a movie and our tradition before we had our daughter was to go to Cold Stone then we go to a movie. So I did have the, like the smallest Cold Stone that you could have but I haven't um like gone out and done anything else besides that which in itself is a big improvement for me and I'm starting to notice how much I really cheat or I used to cheat I used to drink like Starbucks all the time and ice cream and cookies and chocolate so okay that was my whole long thing and I hope that you'll watch the future videos and just kind of see what it's about hope you guys have a great day and I'll talk to you soon